Okay, so now we can continue on here in the Van Haven Waste. And so now it looks like we want to... I believe we want to go to the left. Or no, to the right actually, because I'm pretty sure that is too high of a drop for us to fall from. Because I believe I've had this happen before where I believe that I could simply drop down, but I couldn't do so. We'll be able to confirm it in a moment. Yeah, this is too high of a jump drop. And as you can see, there is... Remember that thing? Yeah, that's a Pyrodamos down there. And I don't think we want to be fighting it. So, <laughs> we're going back to the right. But that's not much of a problem because we get more jackals to take care of. There we go. Alright, who's next? Take out your brother, I suppose? Boom. And now for the scorpion. Oh, uh, not quite. There we go. Stay taking the advantage of that chop. And we'll bring you all down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hit me as, try and hit me as hard as you can. It won't work. Boom. Finish him off? Yes. Alright. Okay. As we move further along... Oh, now it's really gonna get tricky. Alright. Let's go over to Yuli first. That's how my other characters use their combos first. Whoa, that was a hundred point shot. Okay. I will keep that in mind for next time. Yeah, this could be quite a problem. But thankfully, things kind of worked out, I hope. At least we've disabled it quite a bit. Ah, that was some pretty good damage. Time to fight dragons with dragons. Alright, let's open it up. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I can't have you do that. Oh, and you're the perfect opportunity for me to strike you in the face. Ugh. Looks like you're indifferent to my two attacks. Oh, I didn't get him down on his le down on his belly. That's a shame. Just wondering, can I chain this? Come to me. A little closer. Ugh. Come on. Try to draw you in. Ugh. Okay. Because I want to go after Wind Dragon number two. Alright, here goes. Oh, no, not yet. Now for the second wind dragon. Ooh. Who's got a heal spell? Yep, someone had my back. Keep on plugging away, guys. Alright, we're gonna change over to Yuli. Utilize that spirit's him ability. Alright, that'll give her a little extra Caesar a little extra fuel. Oh, Basilisk, you want in on this too, huh? Well, too bad you're not my main target. My main target is, of course, the Wind Dragon. 
Alright, down goes the Basilisk. Oh, come on. Get it on its belly. Ah, crap, didn't work. Oh, this is one determined dragon. Alright, very well. Yuli. Another spirit's him for Caesar. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to block this. Hang on tight, guys. Come on, guys, we can do it. It's almost beaten. Come on, get in there and finish it. Get in there and finish it. There we go. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Back on the offense under normal circumstances now and eliminate this scorpion. There it goes. Okay. Oh, I saw a chest. I saw a treasure chest. Yeah, here's another awesome aspect of the Van Haven Waste. A lot of waterfalls to look at. Like this, like this pair over here. Actually, it looks like there's three separate ones. That's pretty cool. Yeah, another part of the amazing attention to detail that Level 5 did with this game. It makes it all worthwhile. Oh, we got a Cerberus to contend with. Well, I guess it's some something I had to expect because... We're already starting to get into high-stakes circumstances now. Let's keep hacking away on the scorpion. Ooh! Alright, well, thankfully you're not my immediate target there, Cerberus. Let's take out things like the scorpions first. Oh sure, and then he puts up a barrier. Crap! That's not good. Come on, drop your shield. Drop your shield. There we go. Now for the next scorpion. Oh, it's so close. Now for the Cerberus. Don't you hide, run away from me. Oh, come on. Hold still. I said hold still. Okay, I guess it's a chop from Caesar that'll do it. Alright, so I'm going to give my other characters the opportunity to use some combos. See just how effective they are. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now for Eldor to use a pair of combos. But yeah, you leave Seti alone. If he gets killed, that's game over. Ugh. Like this. Oh, stay on top of it. Oh. Um, I guess we'll stay on Eldor, I guess, because... Yeah, he needs to heal himself. Now we'll change characters and go back to Caesar. Alright. Chopping away. I'm not gonna bother using the knight's power at this point because its HP is so low. I've got him pinned against this rock here. I'm trying to get around to... Try and draw its attention. There we go. 
Now, any opportunity you can use to have the character that you're controlling draw the attention of a large enemy like this so that your other party members aren't getting attacked, take advantage of it. Oh, we got another opportunity to knock it down. Awesome. And we finished it off. Alright. That was well done. Okay. So we want to go over here. And back into the tunnels. Now, if I have done this right... Where we should be... Is... Yes, okay, so we're going to use this snaking path. We don't want to take the first fork in the road. We want to take the second one, and then that will get us to where we need to be. Yeah, the Van Haven Waste takes a long time to get through if you don't know what you're doing, and obviously my memory abandoning me earlier did not help things. Okay, back at it. Stick my spear into your scaly mouth. I have some bas basilisk kebabs. Wham! Yeah, now we're starting to see experience in from killing the monster increasing again. 122 points, and Yuli gained a level. Alright. What shall she learn next? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's only one other skill she can currently learn. And then on the next experience level, we'll get her, her Bowmaster 5. Alright. Fine with me. Let's go to the left now. Because, of course, it's the only option, and oh! I do smell an opportunity to use the knight's power again. But I was not expecting to use it here. But it matters not. Once we get rid of these things, then all focus will be on the ice giant. Alright, but before we do... Since Yuli got another combo, let's get her to use the... Or rather, gained another level, we can get her to use another combo. Because, of course, every time you gain a level, your AC is automatically restored. Okay. I uh, don't want to worry about the Ice Elemental. And get over here. What? I can't use even use the combo, even though... Alright... Yeah, it's a giant monster, but apparently I'm not permitted to use the skills. And apparently I can't even transform because there's not a high enough ceiling. Oh, isn't, isn't this convenient? Alright, fine, we'll just keep attacking normally. And now we're using a revival powder, if I have one, which I don't. Thankfully, Yuli's on top of her game. Yeah, that sucks that I can't use the knight's power in here. I thought the ceilings were high enough that I could. Now this will punish you. Yeah, go down. I knocked you off your feet. You're not allowed to use enough special ability when I knock you off your feet. Alright, I'm gonna take the opportunity as well to use plus heal. Because my party could definitely use it. Until... Yeah, that can happen. If it takes a long time for a spell to get cast, you could very well be the victim of it getting cut off by one of these giant monsters. Yeah, take your punishment like a, the giant that you are. And then I'll take my treasure chest, thank you. And now I want to take my frustrations out on you. Because, yeah, I do not appreciate the fact that 
the ceilings are just low enough that the knight's power cannot be utilized in here. I am not a happy camper, as Musea Nala would say. Alright, who's next? And let's impale some lizards. I shall defeat you all! Alright, chopping away on the spider. Wham, he's down. Now over here. Yes, I must hurt you as well. I shall melt you, Ice Elemental. And now you are melted. Onward. Okay, so, so far so good. Now let's find our way through... Well, if they're gonna be generous enough to give me some extra enemies, why not? Oh, you may not swat your tail at me, cause you're gonna suffer for doing so. Yeah, and you may favor a new target, but they're just gonna kill you like I would. Yeah, we're all in this together. We're all gonna cause you pain and suffering. Any spider or lizard that stands in my way will suffer dearly. Wham! Nice. Now let's go this way. Down the hill we go. If you can call it that. It's more like down the overhang. More lizards to kill. Yeah, you may swat your tail, but my stuff is much deadlier. And down you go. Now for your friend. Crying isn't gonna change anything. Crying's not gonna help you. And Aldor gains another level. Yeah, we got a pair of innocent bystanders <laughs> who will s unfortunately suffer the same fate as their friends. We're gonna bring you all down. And you're out. So now... We have a situation that is a forced one because we can't climb up there and get that treasure chest as much as we would like to. So, instead, we shall go this way. Open the stone door. Okay, now this time, there should be no restrictions, and there aren't. So, before we give Caesar the ability to use the power of the Dragon Knight, and Yuli, you're targeting the wrong guy. Ah, Yuli! That's who you're supposed to be attacking. Ah, Yuli. Alright, now Eldor. Yeah, change to the giant, please. I want the giant gone. There we go, that's some substantial damage. Oh, and it just boosted its strength, but I knocked it off balance. So, quickly, Caesar, finish it off! Vermilion Drake, level of ancient lands. Grant me your power! Their toe! And here we go again. Wow, you just can't, guys, just can't stop attacking the elementals, can you? You know that the giant is the greater threat here. this and now we'll finish you off go away there we go that's more like it and now for the reward 
A grand sword. I believe this is a long sword. We'll know it in a moment. Oh, it's just a regular sword, but it's experience level 30. So we can give this to Leonard, I guess. Yeah, we're not quite at experience level 30 yet. But Leonard did get up to experience level 29. So, let's take the opportunity to learn our new skills. So, one air charge, plus let's also learn the inert field ability. Alright. And Eldor gained another level. Get Crackdown. And we'll give him Last Resort too. And let's see, what can we give Leonard? Alright, that'll cover a lot of ground. Alright, everyone's taken care of. So let's go this way. Take the extraction point. From the beautiful glowing mushrooms, and on we go again. Yeah, now we get to run downhill. Much more downhill running. As you can see, unlike the previous two stone doors, this one does not have a glowing dot on it. So, we can open that one no di without difficulty. Alright, we should be approaching the finish line soon. As far as the first half of the Van Haven Waste, because there's still a long way to go. Plus, I'm curious to see what's inside that treasure chest. Hopefully, it is something we can indeed use. So, let's take down this spider and be done with it. There we go. And away we go again. So now, we should be very close to where we need to be. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me I can't go through this one either. Oh, yes I can. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I was a bit worried there, but we made it. So let's heal and repair all. And take the opportunity to save. Alright, so we'll take another quick timeout and we'll be back with another episode in just a moment.